Hi, JD with Gree. Today we're gonna to be troubleshooting an E6 code. We're gonna be using the Gree single zone testing tool. The part number is G-R-E-G-T-2-A-3-A-D. Say we have an E6, what we're gonna do is use this tool and we're gonna hook up to the outdoor unit and simulate the indoor and bring on the outdoor to see if the issue's in the outdoor. Or if it's not, then we're gonna hook it up to the indoor unit and simulate the outdoor and bring on the indoor to see where the issue is. So let's go ahead and wire this in. So the power is off. We have three wires here. They are labeled for you, one, two, and three, just like your connections are labeled one, two, and three. Hooking up one to one, two to two. And when we do this, we are gonna disconnect number two that goes to the indoor head because we're using this tool to simulate the indoor head. So that's why we're disconnecting number two coming from the indoor head. And just connecting number two from the service tool. And we're powering the indoor head still. Now we have the indoor head disconnected. We're gonna bring on the outdoor unit. We're gonna power it up. Four different options on the Test tool, data monitor, replace indoor unit to detect outdoor unit. And that's what we're gonna use right now. So you hit next. Replacing the indoor head. It has an E6. If you look up here, we have an E6. So we're replacing the indoor unit to detect outdoor unit. So you press OK. Press OK once more. It's making sure that we disconnected the communication to the indoor. So the conservation just came on. We are in cool mode. What we're doing is waiting for that compressor to come on. Once the outdoor unit fully comes on, we know the issue is not in the outdoor unit. Then we can disconnect this tool and connect to the indoor head and act as the outdoor unit and bring on the indoor head. All right, looks like the compressor just came on. We have a compressor frequency. So now we're gonna go ahead and disconnect power. Now we're going to disconnect the testing tool from the outside reconnect the number two that we disconnected earlier. We verified that the outdoor unit does not have any issues causing the E6, so we're gonna hook up to the indoor head. We're going to simulate the outdoor unit and bring on the indoor head. So what we're gonna do first is lift this cover up. Did you know you'd have to take this cover off right here? Already took that cover off. Power is off. What we're gonna do is disconnect Number two from the outdoor unit here. Then we're gonna hook up all three connections to the indoor. Again, they're labeled one, two, and three, just like the outdoor. So you hook up one to one, two to two, and three to three. All right, so now that we have that connected, we're gonna turn on power to the unit. So we're gonna to go to option number three, which is replace outdoor unit to detect indoor unit. We press okay. We press okay again. It's making sure that we disconnected the communication to the indoor unit, which we did. Detecting right now, so it says please wait. What we're trying to do is see if that indoor unit will come on with this testing tool. It looks like it did. We're in cool mode. The fan just came on. We're on medium speed and it's reading all the sensors. We do not have an issue with the indoor unit. So now that you guys know how to use the service tool to solve an E6 problem, the three were by your side.